true to the police? What is the address or location of your emergency? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We were picked up in a car and we were taken to a cabin. And but it's getting too real. Things are getting too real. Too much is happening. They've, they've killed someone. They've killed someone. Hello? Sir? Sir, are you still there? Sir? Is this thing on? I don't think so. Maybe? I think that's working. I think uh, we've been invited to a cabin for the night, which is really strange, an accommodation trip. Uh, so this will be a, a different kind of experience. But with the current restrictions, the only person in my tier is, is Jim. So <laughs> guess who's coming to the cabin for the night? Uh, but yeah, separate rooms, though. Separate rooms or pull out bed or something that they said. And I uh, don't want you guys getting any of the wrong ideas. I've been given an address to go to and that's going to be the drop off point for a car. And then a car's actually going to come pick us up and uh, drive us to the location. So very much looking forward to it. Should be a, should be a really cool night. Are you ready for some heterosexual hibernation in a cabin in the woods tonight? Crazy. <coughs> Crazy time. Feel my chest this morning. Oh, don't say that. The bubble, the bubble's going to be bubbles breaking real man. quick. Oh man, it's been a long drive. Just literally, I have no idea where we are right now. Is it? I guess it might be. for a car to come and pick us up, I guess. <laughs> Hello? Right. How are we? Right. Uber? Yeah. <laughs> okay, get in. <laughs> Jesus, been rude. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Where are we off? That's a very yeah, good cruise. Cabin in the woods. Cabin in the woods? A cabin in the woods. Are you travel far? <laughs> to Sunny Stoke. Stoke? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry for you. That better. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long night tonight. I don't finish till 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Oh. Yeah. Been busy. Y yeah, you know what? I have. I've been up and down this road three times today. <laughs> been very, very busy. Do you like music? I love music. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Sean. That's Sean. my mate Jim I'm over Jim. here. Sean and Jim. <laughs> Jim. Yeah. Where's Rosie? <laughs> What a fucking twat! Put a corn there! We're just doing a review for the night, that's all we're doing. That's all we know, we're going to a luxury You're cabin. Not, not, not an holiday, uh, just a little review. I do blog and reviews and vlogs and stuff like that. You do we, blogs and reviews? I do. Fucking hell. Yeah, so we've just been invited to this Look. place. Oh, are we in 1994? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Appleton! Mr. Appleton, will you move out the way, please? <laughs> Jesus. Sorry about that. It's like a night out in Stoke, this is. Uh, Bring you Listen, said. if you don't hurry up, I'm going to run you over. For God's sake. It's about time. Here you go. Mr. Appleton, come here. You talk to oh, my husband, I talk to my husband like that. Come on in, darling. Come on. Nice to meet you, I'm Sean, that's Jim. Yeah, nice All to right, meet you. <laughs> I wouldn't see them fucking there, the sofa won't be able to. Oh, separate beds, thank God, thank God for that. In the in the cottage. This is the cottage. The luxury cabin. Microwave. Food's in the fridge. Hello. It's quite nice, isn't it?
Yeah, it's quite a smart cabin. What's going on in here? All right, okay. Large bed. <laughs> Have you christened the toilet already? We're in here at the retreat. I've absolutely no idea where we are, by the way, but I will put that detail into a, a blog review. But yeah, initial impressions, lovely little cabin. Really nice little, quaint little place in the middle of nowhere. Just nice little getaway. Um, microwavable food um, to choose from, but that was, part, that was part and parcel. I think we were expecting that, staying at a cabin. I mean, don't want to be cooking as soon as you get here, so microwave food sort of makes sense. We can't scream on the telly ready to watch and uh, yeah I, th I think that's just about i think that's was about just about done for the night to be honest lovely little place really really nice no no i just heard a noise i legit just heard a noise it's like a whisper that's weird is it the fan or something in here playing up what that was dude give us five stars he said give us five stars driving like a lunatic I don't think so it is it's the only thing that can make noise it's mr appleton the big perv <laughs> put a webcam in invites people to his cabin and watches them like bloody jeff off coronation street that's pretty cool. It's got a picture of us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is there a picture of us on the wall? <laughs> that is random. <laughs> I think they're getting the wrong idea about this heterosexual hibernation weekend. Jesus, man. That, that's from the horror crypt in Blackpool. And if you haven't seen the video already, go and check that out because it's a cool little venue. Yeah, uh, and in, Kurt's yeah. done a great job. We're locked in. Can't get out. We're locked. Can't get out. We're locked in. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? A little bit concerned about the door not opening, but it's not like we're going anywhere, so I think we'll uh, check it out in the morning. But, uh, yeah, sit down, chill out, watch a film. Okay, and you like scary movies. Yeah, the one with the guy in the white mask who walks around and stalks babysitters. Yeah. See, so I could only think of scary movie now, and the popcorn gets massive and massive, and <laughs> yeah, she just doesn't tend pop. to it. Yeah, uh, it just goes massive. And, <laughs> and when that dude's with Marlon Wayans and they're the doing the rap, and he's like, "I'm gonna slash your gas, you got another <laughs> hole in your <laughs> ass, spill blood on the walls, and play tennis with your balls. If the ball ring, don't answer the call." Yeah. I had a knock on the door. Hopefully someone get this door fixed. Hello? Hello, yeah? Hello? You ordered the popcorn? Oh yes, the popcorn, yeah. You did? There's the popcorn! <laughs> Thank you. I caught it as well. I'm just going to do the service. Don't slip up, it's you wet out. You have a little board no, as well. No. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> just happened <laughs> he threw the popcorn at me and i literally caught it and then he nearly f fell over on the step outside because <laughs> it's soaking wet out there and then it showed his arse and fucked off what kind of fucking place is... <laughs> is this how shit goes down in wherever this place is are we locked in again no at least the door working now there's some weird people around this area so we've met a drunk guy in the middle of a road. Crazy a, taxi. A ridiculously rude, fast driving taxi driver. It's like, but the cabin's nice though, isn't it? The cabin's yeah, nice. Smart. And we just answered the door to that dude who threw popcorn at us. I'm sure he means well, giving us popcorn, but Jesus, there's no manners around here at all. <laughs> no manners, Jesus fucking Christ. Thought a night out in Stoke was bad, but Jesus. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> no idea. Oh, 
That's the film again. Is it? it is Halloween, so yep. it kind of makes sense they pull little pranks like that. It is cool though, in the middle of a movie, having a really creepy message pop up. <laughs> I'll be in touch soon. Yeah, that's fucking reassuring. So we've heard noises. We had some weird dude lob a bag of popcorn. Really creepy picture up on the wall. Like I said, I got the invite to this cabin. I don't know where the invite came from. I just said, yeah, more than happy to do a review. Thought it was a bit weird that we were given an address before we got picked up. Normally we'd just go straight to the venue. So that's a bit creepy, but we do reviews all the time and normally you get some weird requests from people. So we just thought we'd go ahead with it and, you know, go and check you out. Definitely heard a noise, man. That luxury um, cabin for the night. It's here, There's something up here. There's a phone. Hello. You have found my phone. <laughs> What you say? You have found my phone, now let the games begin. Uh, yeah, this luxury cabin just turned into a Halloween event, dude! <laughs> oh, yes! See what you're doing, luring us out to a cabin for a view and then surprising us with a Halloween, uh, yes, scare maze type immersive experience. I see you. I see you. Okay, so we just had a phone call from uh, Scarecrow. Scarecrow saying that there's a, a torch and a map hidden inside the cabin. We found the torch, we found the map hiding behind the mirror. We've got the torch, ready to go. Waiting for the phone. next phone call. Hello? Yes. I understand. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Baby, man. What's with the baby? All right, so that's the map we've got. He basically said at each point, there's something. There'll be an up. item or something wrapped in red tape. We'll follow any instructions as we get to each point. Oh, just, just, just a little bit. Yeah, brother. Someone lives in there. Don't be smacking, banging their door down if shit goes down. So what's the map look like? Right, so that's this log. Yeah. So it's time that you walk a bit. What's that on the... What's this little thing here? I don't know if this next part. I can't see a damn thing. I'm gonna have to point it down because it's a crap with zoom. Well, misty. <laughs> yeah, feels like we're in the Blair Witch Project. It's a cool path, though. Okay. Is that it there? That's it. What is it? Box of matches. What the shit was? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I'm not safe. Okay. What's, what's on the matches? I can't see it. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's someone literally in the trees. Yeah, yeah. Right, where's the map say to go? So let's go left. I guess we just keep them for now. Yeah, chuck them in your pocket. So you we're definitely being followed. We're definitely being followed. This camera can't even see that in the distance. This 
is pretty freaky. That torch. That where? Right here for the <laughs> torch on Okay, so we got purge purge person behind. <laughs> that's, that's, that's freaky. That's what, this, what the shit? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> How'd you get in that boat here or something? Okay. That's so freaky. There's someone else, are you? I don't know if we've got. Oh, there's, a, there's something here, dude. How many people are there in this thing? I'm Sean, that's Jim. You alright? Kill Jim first. <laughs> Alright, we got we got a shovel. Okay. Got matches and a shovel. What's this? Play me. It's a DVD. What does it say? The wishing tree. Yeah, we've got to go back. We've got to go back? Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> super creepy. These girls are the kind of girls I match on Tinder. <laughs> I need to get as far away from them as possible. Okay. I always get the crazy one. I have no idea. There's people going there. We'll go that way then. Okay. <laughs> this is the part where I, I've got no grip. Back at the cabin. Shit. Spilt the frosties. Come on, guys. Come here, water. No, that's water. Okay. Shower's on. The picture's gone off. Dodgy scar. And some matches. I now have another job for you to do. I've left my latest victim at point C on the map. Oh, point C! To get rid of the body. Oh, God. You can do this however you wish. Chop it up. Bury it. Burn it. I want it gone. I'll be in touch when the job is done. And remember, I have eyes everywhere. Right, so we've got to venture back out into the woods uh, to find Scarecrow's latest victim. The scariest thing about that is traversing through those woods again <laughs> to find whoever's been left there for us. Because he never said dead body. He said a body, a victim. Could be tied up, could be anything. Decided to do the most fairest uh, of the three options. For a Man United supporter, we let him live. 
for a Manchester City supporter. We kill him there and then. Oh, are you going to kill him? Then? Well, you got a shovel. So, you want to get so I'll have to, I'll have to give him a good crack with a shovel. If they're an Oldham supporter, was going to kill him. <clears throat> but I'm being a bit sympathetic because uh, Vale comfortably beat them. Port Vale comfortably beat them a few days ago. So if they're an Oldham fan, we'll um, we'll let them live too. They've been through enough in the last few days, as it is. Jesus Christ. He's in the tree. <laughs> what the fuck? I did not think someone would be in a tree. What's up? Person in the past. Okay. Do you know what I said they'd swipe right for me? No. I've changed my mind that I'd swipe right for them. 100%. Hello? It's an actual person. It's an actual person. We did make a pact. You're right. You're alive? You okay? That's a very good question. <laughs> We're in the middle of the woods. In the woods. <laughs> it's your own kid, not you. What do you last remember? Do you have anywhere safe we can go? Got a cabin. Well, we need to ask you one simple question. What football team do you support? <laughs> I'm not a football fan. Oh, that's come, okay. You can come back with us. That's okay, we'll let you off. You can come yeah. back to our cabin. Thank you. We'll let you off. Next time, say Manchester United, because that could have got messy real quick. We're going to get killed now, you know, <laughs> taking her back. What's your name? Sarah, nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm Sean, and that's Jim in front of me. You are. Right. Do you know what happened to you? You'll tell her inside. Okay. Get you somewhere safe. Right then, Sarah, tell us what happened to you. Or what you last remember. Shows on again. Yeah, there's a guy in the shower. There's a guy in the sh The fuck? <laughs> there's, a there's a naked dude in the shower. Okay. <laughs> Have a lawyer? <laughs> I didn't realize anyone wants to be home. What's going on? Yeah. I thought the cabin was empty! <laughs> <laughs> That's the camera out of my face! Leave me alone! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Is that the, the guy who dropped the popcorn? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the dude. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you know him? No. <laughs> no, we don't know that guy. <laughs> Alright. I'll check. At least he's gone now. Alright, right, tell us what happened to you, Sarah. So we booked an Airbnb. I mean, I think it's around here. I don't really know where I am. And then we found this phone and it was ringing and ringing. So we, we picked it up mm -hmm. and he wanted us to do all these things. And my boyfriend said no. So they came into the house and they killed my boyfriend. He suffocated him with a pillow. Okay. They made me watch. And then they thought they'd kill me too. But you found me. Who wanted us to kill you? We got a message saying that, uh, that we us. should dispose of you. Yeah. A guy was ringing us off a phone, telling was, us what to do. Was it a phone like this? 
But if anything happens, I can just hide under the bed. Yeah, that's a good hiding place. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Thank you for helping me. It's no problem. Yeah. Why are you here? We we were invited for a. We do a lot of reviews and stuff, you know, we run quite a popular website, we do reviews, we get invited to places and I was asked to come and review a luxury cabin, a retreat experience and then we started hearing weird, weird noises, stuff. we had, we had yeah. food, we were watching a horror film and, and just like you, we had this phone ringing and when we picked up, Scarecrow answered the phone and, and gave us tasks to do and we headed into the woods to find items, came back to the cabin and on a DVD that we found in the woods was a message to say that we, we had to kill you. Is that what he looked like? The guy who was talking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turn that off. Get a phone call and go back to point C. So you stay here with Sarah, man. Okay. I put my brave big boy shoes on. <laughs> Venturing into the woods alone. As they say on scream, I'll be right back. <laughs> I must be either feeling very brave or very stupid. I've got to go out all the way to point C of the map. All the way to point C to pick up something that Scarecrow has left behind. I'm bricking it. It's not, I know this is a scare experience. I know this is a horror experience. But me and darkness and woods freaks me out anyways. So I'm not looking forward to this at all. What the shit was that? That literally just sent chills up the back of my neck and that never fucking happens. Hello? I'm meant to be meeting you guys here. I've heard you've left something for me. Where is it? Well, that's not creepy at all. That was really creepy. <laughs> like, really, really creepy. Lights are still on in the cabin. Jesus crap, that's a walking off that. There's nothing there. Got there. They all circled around me. Did they? It says you've left Jim. Get back. Right. And I'm back. <laughs> that's what they said. It looks like I've got here before they have. Well, I've been getting attacked here out from the outside. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah's under the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a fever on the bed. And then the camera's just 
What's he said? You didn't dispose of the body. Yeah. You have ten minutes to get her outside or they're coming in. Screw that, that's getting that's getting too much. That's getting... Where have they gone? It's just gone quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, what the? We already killed him, eh? We already killed him. We already killed her. Yeah, got the pillow out. Slap the fiance. Don't be psychoallergenic. Fuck this, I'm ringing the police. Fuck this. 